Coming up next, I have a new favorite Gourmand fragrance that I cannot wait to tell you about and review for you. Stay tuned, it's coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose. And uh, today I have a really cool video for you guys. I think you'll like, especially for my niche and unique fragrance lovers out there, which is most of you. Uh, this is a fragrance that just was released by the local perfumer here in Miami in France, between Paris and Miami. You know, Irene from Therapia by Roma. And she created something that she's been working on for months. And I have been, you know, as she's been developing it over the last three or four months, I would smell different iterations of it. And I was so excited for it because it's really one of my favorite notes. Um, and this is a fragrance based on fig. And fig to me is one of those truly beautiful fragrance notes. Well, you know, it's, it's really not a note. It's right. Fig is is a flower or a plant, uh, you know, that is very green, but it's very different. And some houses do it really well. In fact, I, I got to say one of my, let me grab one of my favorite fragrances or fig fragrance, actually my favorite fig fragrance of all time up till now, we'll see what happens, is Philosikos. Uh, Philosikos, for those, you know, who have smelled, you know, beautiful fig fra fragrances, uh, this one is from Diptyque, the French uh, I, I guess I would call it kind of a niche house, but it's got a quasi niche house because they, they're a little bit more, I'd, I'd say it's like a crossover niche house because they also have their own freestanding stores and, but, um, and they sell other things than just fragrance. But, uh, Philosikos is great, great fragrance. Great, great. Uh, let me just smell it. Oh, beautiful. Really is truly a masterpiece for fake fragrances. But why am I here today? Let me, without making you guys wait any longer, something that Irene just created and it's called Fig Confit. Fig Confit, take a look at this. I have this in my hands. This is just released by Irene at Therapia by Roma. <clears throat> Again, I'll put the, um, the link to their website below if you cannot make it to one of her locations. She has three locations here in Miami. Um, down near Homestead at Cully Square, a little kind of shop inside Coconut Grove, and then another little shop inside Upper Buena Vista. So this is Fig Confit, which translates to Candied Fig. Why do I love this? First of all, I love fig fragrances. And the difference is this is, again, classic, okay? Philosikos, this is pure, like, fig cut from the ground, raw, green, uh, lively. This fig confit that Irene has done is, how do I say this? This is more, again, of a gourmand candied fig, which is so unique that, excuse me one second, my phone is ringing, let me turn that off, you know, live videos. Um, this is a fig, again, that just is enrapturing with its both sweetness and yet greenness and freshness. It's such a unique, almost odd combination to see both a green, fresh, lively, energetic fragrance combined with a gourmand-like quality of that candiedness, of that candy. Um, take a look at, you know, the juice. You can see it. It's very kind of uh, clear. It's almost a little tinge of green. Um, what does she put in this? You know, when I, when I talked to her about how she created this and how she came up with this, let me put it in my hand right here so you can guys see. So you can just kind of see me spray it here. Ooh, <laughs> she really hit, really hit a home run here. For those of you who like fig and you like gourmand or you like anything in that genre, you've got to try this. I'm saying try it right now. I, again, you know, if you've seen my videos, this 50, 30 ml bottle is $15. 100 ml bottle, $25. It's just a no-brainer not to try to order it. But let me kind of hold it up there so you can see it. Why do, what, is, what is it that makes this unique? She has, she described it as, as, as if this was a Mediterranean fig. 
something from the Mediterranean Sea, which gives it a little bit more sweetness based on the flowers and, and the fruits that grow around the Mediterranean. Um, and so that was her, her kind of inspiration here. And it's got raspberry, it's got peach, it's got Tahitian vanilla, rhubarb. The green comes from a like leaf, almost like leaf green, leafy like um, quality. And she rounds everything off and kind of like brings it all together with a hint of lime. So again, that lime gives it that kind of fresh greenness. But you saw those notes, that rhubarb, the raspberry, the peach, give it this kind of, again, edible gourmand-like quality. I feel like when I smell this and I put it on, I'm sitting on the Mediterranean coast somewhere. Uh, it could be the Italian Mediterranean. It could be the French Mediterranean. I tend to say probably the French because Irene is French. So let's stick with that. Uh, the French Mediterranean, you're sitting there. You are got a bounty of beautiful fruits and flowers around you. You're maybe sipping some Pellegrino or maybe some water or some wine or maybe a beer and you're sitting there just enjoying the breezes and it's just this kind of aroma that comes in from the hills, maybe from, again, the French countryside, the Riviera, and you're talking about this beautiful, just again, green, but yet gourmand and yet a little sweet and it's just all brought together so well by that, that, that hint of lime that is right on the top. And again, what I like is it, it has some elements of the Philosikos and that kind of raw fig, but that combination with the rhubarb and the raspberry and the peach, it's, I, I mean, she is just so brilliant for thinking about combining those elements to think of a candied fig. It's just so unique. Again, this is what I love about this type of perfumery, which is this is technically, I would call it not even niche. She's artisanal or independent because she operates her own shop, hand makes every fragrance. I've been there with her. I watch her make them. These are all handcrafted, handmade. You know, I know that's a, a big thing, especially in, in wines and beers and, and food now, you know, handcrafted. This is literally handcrafted. There's no machines here. She makes them all, puts them in the bottles, puts it all together, and then makes each one individually for you. So to me, again, that's another thing that I love about this fragrance and of course about Therapia by Aroma in general. So there you have it. Uh, I gotta say this is my new favorite gourmand. Uh, gourmand, I've mentioned in the past before, is something that was, for many years, was not my favorite kind of genre of fragrance. And I've now started to just in the last couple of years really really appreciate this and my nose as it's developed can appreciate it but this is one that i think is going to be a big winner or a big uh hit for people who already love gourmands and like you know super gourmand lovers to those of you who are a little bit skeptical of gourmand and maybe you found it too sweet this is not too sweet that again it's a combination that is just right between both the sweetness elements of the fruits and the fig and green and leafy and lime. It's a beautiful combination. It hits just right. I think she knocked this one out of the park. Gotta try it, get your nose on it. Again, I'll put a link down below for those of you who can't get to her store in person. But I really recommend, if you are in the South Florida area, you gotta get down to, um, ideally to Collie Square, because that's where she is most of the time. And she will give you the experience of a lifetime. So there you have it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon with another video. And there it is, Fig Confit. Get your nose on that ASAP. You're going to love it. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. I'll be back soon, of course, with another video. Peace, love, and perfumes.